फ्रेंड्स दिस आदित्य मेनू एंड वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स इंडिया फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईवी न्यूज इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिस्कस सम ऑफ द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग न्यूज़ फ्रॉम आवर ईवी इंडस्ट्री सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स गेट इनटू द वीडियो friends first news is from mg finally mg has launched their third electric car in india and it is mg windsor ev i already made a dedicated review video on this mg windsor ev the link will be in the description if you missed that video please go ahead and watch that video i explain each and every details of the mg windsor ev in that video come to the specs company has used 38 kilowatt hour battery pack in it and they are claiming a range of 331 kilometers on a single charge this is a cuv a crossover utility vehicles so the space and comfort in this electric car is going to be very good company has launched this electric car at an extra room cost of 10 lakh rupees and you have to pay extra 3.5 rupees for each kilometer as a rent and you have to pay 3.5 kilometers extra per kilometer to the mg for using their battery pack so they are providing their battery as a service option and for charging this electric car you could may cost 2 rupees per kilometer so on an average around 5 to 5.5 kilometers you can travel 1 kilometer on this mg wins or ev the main advantage with this is you don't need to pay battery cost up front when you are buying this electric car the media drives of this mg wins or ev is scheduled next week so i am going to attend the media drive so next week you will get to know complete details and the drive impressions of this mg wins or ev so stay tuned and do subscribe to electric vehicles india friends next news is from central government finally central government has introduced to fame 3 subsidy but now the name has changed now they are calling it as pm e drive pm e drive stands for pradhan mantri electric drive revolution in innovative vehicle enhance in innovative vehicle enhancement so central government has allocated 10900 crores for this pm e drive scheme currently ev industry has emps scheme and it's going to expire on this september 30 from october 1st we are going to see this pm e drive scheme implemented so in this 10900 crores first 3679 crores will be allocated for the subsidies for two wheelers three wheelers electric ambulances e trucks and other electric vehicles so under this 3679 crores 2479000 electric two wheelers 316000 electric three wheelers 14028 electric buses are going to be benefited with the subsidies ministry of heavy industries has introduced e voucher system in this pm e drive system so at the time of electric vehicle purchase ministry of heavy industries will generate a e voucher for the customers upon aadhar authentication so you have to show your e voucher at the time of purchase to avail the subsidy to avail the subsidy in this pm e drive system the specific amount for each electric two wheeler is not specified yet we'll get to know the more details about this pm e drive system in the upcoming days and the next 500 crores will be used for the deployment of electric ambulances 4391 crores will be used for procurement of 14028 electric buses in the cities like delhi mumbai kolkata chennai ahmedabad surat bengaluru pune and hyderabad and the last 2000 crores will be used to set up public charging station network so this is a very good initiative from the central government of introducing this pm e drive system with an amount of 10900 crore rupees so as i already told you we'll get to know the more details in the upcoming days on this pm e drive scheme Friends, next news is from Ola. A frustrated Ola customer from Karnataka lit up the entire showroom. Diving into the details, in Kalaburgi, Karnataka state, a customer named Mohammad Nadim set fire in Ola showroom. So actually, he bought an Ola electric scooter in the August month. So he started getting multiple issues upon using that Ola electric scooter. After reporting that issues to the service center multiple times, no one responded properly, and the issues started repeating again and again. So he got frustrated and he started. argument with the experience center people so in that frustration he bought a can of petrol to the service center and he fired six electric scooters so the videos are getting in the social media right now ola has reacted to this incident and they said that fir has been filed against that person and these kind of unlawful practices against the company are not encouraged there are mixed reactions on this incident from the people some people are saying that this is very unlawful practice so he must have protested against the ola in some other way and some are encouraging him because the ola service is very pathetic as of now number one electric two wheeler company in india right now shouldn't give this kind of pathetic service to their customers so what's your opinion on this please let me know in the comments and if any one of you using ola electric scooter how is the service in your area please comment that down
Friends, next news is from Honda. Yes, the wait is over. Honda is going to launch their first electric scooter in India and the launch date is unveiled now. The launch date has been revealed by the CEO of Honda Electric Scooters. He said that it's been one year late. They have to launch this electric scooter one year ago, but due to some reasons, it's been delayed till one year. So finally, Honda is going to launch their first electric scooter in March 2025. The exact date is not out yet, but they are definitely going to launch this electric scooter in March 2025 so this scooter is going to be named as Activa electric scooter but there will be another name when they sell this electric scooter it won't be exactly same as the current Activa petrol scooter the design will be wholly different and they're going to use portable battery packs in this first electric scooter from Honda electric they are going to use portable battery packs in this Honda's first electric scooter we'll get to know the more details once the launch date is getting near Friends, next news is from Revolt. Currently, Revolt offers Revolt RV400 and Revolt RV400 BRZ models. And it's been five years since Revolt has launched a new electric bike in India. But finally, the wait is over. Revolt is all set to launch a new electric bike on this September 17. So there are no any spy shots regarding this electric bike. Let's hope Revolt don't launch any new variant in their currently existing bike. Let's hope that they launch a new bike with new technology and new looks. So we'll get to know the more details about this rewards upcoming electric bike on September 17. This last news is from Tata. Tata has gifted their Curve electric car to Paris Olympics medalists. They gifted a Tata Curve EV to two bronze medalists, Manu Baka. Previously, they gifted a Curve EV electric car to hockey bronze medalist PR Srijes. And recently, they delivered a Curve EV electric car to two bronze medalists, Manu Baka. So, she got two bronze medals in the shooting game. So, previously, Mahindra has also encouraged players who got medals for India by gifting their Mahindra XUV affordable electric car and now Tata has gifted two electric cars to the bronze medalist of Paris Olympic. So friends these are some of the latest updates and interesting news from our EV industry for this week. What's your opinion on this video please leave it in the comments and if you found the video informative please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.